Hi, this is Hoop K9QJS with a demonstration of running the CQ Worldwide DX Ready contest using an ICOM 7300 uh, connected to a Aircraft amplifier and antenna tuner, and using my iMac running free software called Rumlog NG. Rumlog NG has a contest module. And this upper left-hand corner screen is the log. My most recent contact was November Zero Tango Alpha, where the mouse cursor is on the left. And that was at 19.30 uh, hours UTC. I have my Rumlog contest module talking to FL Digi. And I did that by setting my Rumlog NG preferences this uh, for FL Digi. Lower left hand corner of my screen is the RIDI decoding window, which is actually just a copy of the FL Digi window over here on the right hand side. Here's the 7300 over here, so I can show you how I'm uh, tuning it. Uh, the the Rumlog NG software has a control screen for the 7300 and that appears here on the right hand side and Rumlog NG implements a pretty neat feature with the 7300 and that feature is that the software the Rumlog NG software will stop will hold the display whenever you retune the frequency in terms of setup of Rumlog NG a couple of features that work pretty well are in the logbook tab one is show previous QSOs. So when I put a call sign into the window, if I've worked that, those station, that station before, they'll appear in the window. And the other is clear after QSY. So let's just look what's happening here in the decoding window. I'm currently not decoding anything. Uh, I'm gonna tune over here to the right. And I just did that by touching the screen. And look over here on the uh, on my computer screen and see if I've got it positioned correctly. Yep, I'm doing decoding here. There's 59904 Tennessee, November 4 Delta Whiskey. I don't know if that's the station that's running this frequency or not. Uh, thank you, W8 Lima Yankee Juliet. So it is. So I'm going to double click on that. And Whiskey 8 Lima Yankee Juliet appears up here. Uh, I've not worked it before. This is a band map feature. This feature is available also in N1MM, and it's pretty cool. If I go to Contest, select Add QSO to Band Map in Search and Pounce, and show Band Map, which is kind of what's happening over here. Then. If it's red, you've worked the station already. If it's green, then you haven't worked it yet. And it's an eligible station. So Whiskey 8 Lima Yankee Juliet is a station that I can work. And I'm still code decoding pretty well. Let's look what I've got down here. Thank you, DE Whiskey 8 Yankee. Oh, didn't decode really well, but Whiskey 8, there was a mistake in the decoding, you can see. Here it says Whiskey 8 Yankee Juliet. Uh, earlier I decoded Whiskey 8 Lima Yankee Juliet. All contesting software also has what's called super check partials. And that's where it looks in a database to see if the call sign's been submitted in another contest. And yes, it has. Look down here in the decoding screen and you can see that we're pretty consistently decoding Whiskey 8 Lima Yankee Juliet. So that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is respond, and there's two ways I can do it. On the Mac keyboard, I can use the function keys. I've already, in the Mac settings, enabled the setting that allows me to use function keys as soft keys that a software program uses. So F1 is CQ, F2 is an exchange for a run. Run is when you're holding a frequency and waiting for people to respond to you. Uh, F3 is TU, that means thank you uh, for a run. F4 is my call, and there's some other things here I'm not gonna go into at the moment, but 
So let's see if I can work Whiskey 8 Lima Yankee Juliet. And the way that I'm going to do that, let's see, uh, let's wait for him to come back here. And I'm not seeing him, but we'll just wait a minute. Okay, here he is. Worldwide Whiskey 8 Lima Yankee Juliet. I'm going to send my call sign. And I did that by pressing uh, F4. There's my call sign, K9QJS. Repeated twice. We'll see if he comes back. Um, nope. He went to another call sign, which is Whiskey Alpha 9, Juliet, Bravo, Romeo. Oh, again, again. Okay, I'm going to press my call sign. So I'm transmitting my call sign again. Uh, I'm not, am I tuned in? I'm looking on the FL Digi screen. Oh, there he is. Uh, he gave me his response. So I'm going to press F6, which is... A search and pouch exchange, which is 03. In yellow, you can see where he did my call sign. There was 04CO. And the exchange in this case is 04 is the CQ zone. And uh, looks like I missed his acknowledgement that he got me. 04 is the zone, CO is his state. That's the exchange, Colorado. And uh, he didn't come back again, so I'm going to assume that he got me. He had he very clearly got my call sign up here when he sent it to me. Um, so I'm going to assume that he got it. I'm going to press the enter key. Uh, software often has something that's called enter sends message. Um, on this expanded keyboard, there's a return and there's enter, and they're used differently. And in this case, if I press the enter key on a search and pounce, here it, we, the, I've told Rumlog NG that I'm in search and pounce mode. If I press the enter key, it just kind of logs it and doesn't send anything. Let's see if I can get somebody else. I'm looking on the display here, the 7300 display. I'm going to tune up to this guy and see what happens. Okay. I'm not quite on frequency, so I'm just going to tune him in just a little bit better. I might have turned tuned the wrong way. To tune the other way. Yep, yep. Okay, I think I'm tuning him pretty well here. Let's see if I decode him. I decoded 59908. Let's see what happens. Now this could be a station responding to somebody else that I can't hear. Oh, or it could be Zulu Foxtrot 1 Alpha. Here it says Zulu Foxtrot 1 Alpha in CQ. And uh, I've, it's in red, so I've worked Zulu Foxtrot 1 Alpha before. I'm gonna double click on it, and you can see that Zulu Foxtrot 1, I'm looking in the upper left-hand screen, is Cayman Islands. And I worked them once at 14.52 um, today, uh, UTC time, so they're a dupe station. So I'm going to clear that using a soft key. And he's the station that's calling CQ. And I know that because this kind of, there was a T, lower left-hand window, TU, Zulu, Foxtrot, 1 Alpha, and then CQ. And uh, there's another station responding to him that I've talked worked, Kilo Hotel 7 Mike. That's a Hawaiian station. Well, let me tune up the band, see if I can find somebody else. Here we go. Okay, this is a pretty strong signal. I still don't know what it is, whether it's uh, decoding three out, uh, Arizona, zone three, Arizona, Arizona. Uh, well, let's see. We're looking for either the station that's calling CQ, because then I'm going to go back to it. Or if it's responding to a CQ, then I don't want him. So it's looking like the station he was responding to is very, very light. If you look here on the 7300 screen, just very light. Uh, there's a chance I'm going to tune him in by tuning just a little bit, uh, just a few hertz. And by doing a few hertz, I'm going to make sure I spin the dial the right way. 
it, it works best if you think in terms of moving the red lines on the FL Digi display so that it's right on top of the two yellow uh, decoding signals uh, up, up there, over there. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm right on top, see if I'm decoding. Um, it's still a pretty light signal. Nah, not decoding that well. It was kind of trash. Let's see, okay, I'm here's, I'm decoding well. T Whiskey 3 Oscar uniform, that was a clear decode. MD TU Whiskey 3 Oscar uniform. So I'm gonna see if I can go back to that guy. I double clicked on his call sign in the Rum Long NG window. And the next time I see his call sign with, with a uh, kind of thank you afterwards. So Whiskey 3 Oscar uniform. I think he's in, uh, I think he's in Tennessee. He's responding to somebody else, 04 Tennessee. Four is the center of the US. Tennessee, let's see, pretty, pretty soft uh, decode at the moment. Okay, not working. So I'm gonna spin the dial, see if I can decode somebody else. In the meantime, this is kind of neat. Look up here on the band map. I, Whiskey 3 Oscar uniform here is in green because I haven't worked him yet. And it'll remember, the software will remember that's where he is. I'm gonna spin up the dial to where there's a much stronger signal. And I still don't know whether this is a strong signal because it's the running station or because it's the station responding. So I have to monitor and see what happens here. My hunch is that it's the station responding, but we'll find, we'll see here. This takes patience attention to the decoding window here. Oh, thank you, VE3, November Zulu. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit uh, enter, which when my, the cursor is up here, and it looks like he's kind of come back to me. See, there's zero QJS. So I'm gonna give him my call sign again. Oh, there it was. Now I'm gonna send the search and pounce message, which is V3N Zulu, 03 is the zone for Washington. Washington, K9 QJS. Let's see if he comes back with my call sign and a TU for thank you. And there we go. So up here, I'll make sure that I've got it correct. Uh, he had said that he is uh, 04, 04 Ontario, and I'll just press the enter key, and there you go. It's a lot of fun to not have to listen hard. You know, you're either going to decode it or you're not going to decode it, and it becomes uh, pretty obvious. So, this is why I have a lot of fun with RIDI contesting.